And of course, uh, you might think about VIP or not for the network called EGO, PR, BRES, and the chairperson, Honorable Teresita Manzala. So, Papa Nada na po. Anybody who have heard of her dad? Ano daw ka ano na ang profession sa mundo? Ano ba yung tanong na yan? Sabi nila, space person. Remember, remember sa Bible, book of Genesis, di ba, nung naglalakad si Eva doon sa Garden of Eden? Sino nag-convince sa kanya? Di ba, nabentahan siya, di ba, para kainin yung apple. So that was the first salesmanship kasi nabentahan siya, di ba? Kaya lang may nagreklamo. Sabi niya, hindi lang si Isman, doktor. Sabi niya, sabi namin, bakit? Aba, di ba, when Eve was created from the ribs of Adam, that was surgery. So, doktor daw. Ano yung pangatlo? May nagreklamo. Hindi daw si Isman, hindi doktor. Ano yung katatlo? Ilan yung trainer, Richard Patrick. Oo, engineer daw. So, sino nga engineering background dito? Narilang to ngayon? Sabi niya, bakit? Aba, di ba, basahin niyo yung book of Genesis, di ba? Sabi niya, one of the days nung sa creation, ano sabi? Let the heaven be separated from the earth. O that was engineering, di ba? Pinag-iwalay. Sabi ka? O finally, sinong nanalo? May lawyer pala. Sabi niya, hindi salesman. Hindi, hindi doktor. Hindi engineer. Lawyer. Sabi niya, bakit lawyer? Ay, di basahin mo yung first statement ng book of Genesis. Anong nakalagay doon? When God created the world, there was chaos. Magulo. Or yung place, or yung place. was 
blind, but now I see. Father God, our most gracious and loving Father, we thank you so much for this wonderful occasion. We thank you for having boldness to enter the holiest by the name, by the blood of Jesus. We pray in Jesus' name that what we come in today is not just through our lips, but rather a life commitment to serve our clients to their satisfaction and joy with you as our partner in the practice of the real estate profession. Bless. May your name be lifted up in whatsoever things we do relative to the practice. Bless each and everyone of us here present, our guests, and participants as well. May this be a good beginning of our practice of real estate. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that as real estate practitioner, may our primary mission be service rather than commission. Lead us, O Lord Jesus, to the path of righteousness for your name's sake. We return all the honor and glory to you, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Our personal Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen and amen. Please remain standing. May we call on Ms. Smyrna Kanama for the national anthem. Ngayon naman yung ating uh, pagmamalasakit sa ating organization. So let me call uh, Mr. June Gulciano Jr. for a welcome remark. Please join me and you may sit down. At, uh... So okay, kailangan muna kantayin pala natin ang PRC here with the uh, music lab. Okay. We are singing, so let's listen. Again, again, uh, ito yung ating uh, team for PRC.
Are you ready to sit down? Ladies and gentlemen, let's all welcome Mr. Abundio Gautiani Jr., the President of the National Real Estate Association Incorporated, for the welcome remarks. Honorable Teresinti Arman Sal, Chairperson of the Professional Regulation Commission. Honorable Eduardo Gutierrez Wong, the Chairman of the Professional Regul Regulatory Board of Real Estate Service. Honor Director Dan, Attorney Dan Malayan, PRC Director for Region 7. Honor Distinguished Gentlemen and Ladies, in the uh, presidential table. My dear inactees, friends, guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today marks another milestone in the real estate industry as we gather to induct and welcome a new batch of real estate practitioners. I would like to give emphasis on the fact that this is one of those rare occasions where all real estate groups and organizations gather to acknowledge and celebrate yet another achievement worthy of praise and recognition. The real estate Lancashire exam on March 27, 2011 was the very first that was administered by the Professional Regulation Commission or PRC since the implementation of the Real Estate Service Act of 2009. It was a good first considering that a significant percentage successfully made it to where it's, we are all now. We commend all of you for a job well done. Congratulations. Next time, I wish you all good luck and Godspeed. Congratulations once again to all of you for making it here. This is indeed a big step that is well worth the beginning of an exciting journey and destination. Welcome everyone to the first Cebu Outing Ceremonies of Real Estate Brokers, Appraisers, and Consultants. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gautian. Welcome. Oh, uh, mabuhay, mabuhay. Tagalog ako, ha? Bilisa. Congratulations. Sa ikaw na bahala, ha? Si Bilisa ko, si Juano, Filipino, English. Are you all excited? Well, hindi namin marinig. Are you excited? Yes. Oh, sige, naman tinitest ko lang. Hello for the outtaking and to sell. Itest ko sila. Pag sinabi kong hello, say hi, ha? Hello? Hi. Pag sinabi kong okay, say alright. Okay? Alright. Pag sinabi kong hala, say dira hala? Yeah. At pag sinabi kong hoy? Okay. Pag gising. Gising, gising. Very exciting ito. Because this is the first. This is absolutely the biggest mass outtaking ever in Cebu. And everybody is so pretty, and I am in awe of you. Everybody says it, it was very mahirap, result, was it the exam? Or it was easy. You all passed. No, 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 So difficult. But look at you now. I am in awe of you. Well, let's give a round of applause to ourselves, okay? Siguro with the highest rating. You know, um, I am so glad I took the exam a couple of years ago. <laughs> this one was so difficult, but really I am in awe of you. Okay, now we would like to call on Honorable Eduardo Gutierrez Wong, the Chairman of the Board of Real Estate Service. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, Technical glitch. Oh, yeah, no, I'll send it. So excited. Engineer Hilario D. Escudero III, Realtor, IRM, Philippines. To do the introduction of the chairman of BRBRES. A round of applause, please. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, our special, uh, inspirational message to be delivered. Uh, the person is a highly respected management and real estate consultant, educator, licensed real estate practitioner, 
who has had a bachelor's degree in commerce, master's degree in business, and law degree. Uh, he has three doctoral courses to his credit. Doctor of Philosophy, Magna Cum Laude, Doctor of Public Administration, Academic Excellence, and Doctor of Business Administration, Academic Excellence, and has a successful career in real estate and business for the past two decades. He was the top notcher in the real estate consultant and broker's examination given by the Department of Trade and Industry. In the real estate fraud, he was former president of Pasay Makati Realtors Board, national president of the Philippine Association of Realtors Board, former president of Philippine Association of Realty Consultants and Specialists, former president of the Philippine Council of Real Estate Educator, and former member of the Real Service Council of the Philippines, former president of Greba Research Institute, he was the former Vice President of Academic, uh, Academic Affairs of Chamber of Commerce, Greba. And in the business front, he is the Vice President of PICC on Academics and Governor of ECO. In the academic field, he held the positions of Professor, Dean of Business Administration, and Vice President for Academic Affairs of leading universities in Manila. Presently, he is the Vice President for Academic Affairs and Dean of Southeast Asian College of Academic Consultants of three colleges in Metro Manila. Uh, he sits in the Board of Regents of two state universities in Manila and currently teaches in the Graduate School of the leading universities in Manila. Uh, his advocacy in education and training earned him a position as board member of Technical Education and Skills Development Authority and chairman of the Technical Panel for Business, Public Administration and Real Estate Management of Commission of Higher Education, the chair. Uh, he is a prolific writer and researcher and a former columnist of the Philippine Daily Inquirer. Uh, uh, lately, he was appointed by the President of the Philippines as the first chairman of the Professional Regulatory Board of Real Estate Service, the PRVRS, the Professional Regulation Commission, tasked to implement the provision of Real Estate Service Act the RA 9646, in charge of licensing and regulation of the real estate service practice of the Philippines. Uh, let us all welcome Dr. Eduardo Gutierrez Ong. Please sit down. Indeed, we are very fortunate today because we were able to have the privilege of having as our special guest of honor in Latin Officer, the Chief Officer of the Professional Regulation Commission, none other than the Chairperson of the PRC, Honorable Teresita R. Mansala. Can we give her a round of applause? I would like to welcome the presence of Honorable Mayor Mike Brown. And likewise, the pillars of the real estate service profession in Cebu. I am so happy to be in Cebu today to share with you not only the honor, the jubilation and joy of your being inducted or taking your oath of office today with our Honorable Chair, 
dari si Taman Sala. Much, much more doubly happy because I was told that in Cebu there are almost 1,000 licensed real estate practitioners. And not only that, two in the recent licensure examination for brokers, two of the successful examinees were top notchers. And I, I understand that with the able leadership of PRC Director in Cebu, Attorney Dan Malayam, Dan, he was malapanati si Dan, he was able to administer in Cebu the, the, the very first licensure examination for brokers. Let me just give you a brief of history. In 1989, you know, I took the exam, I took the real estate brokers exam in 1983. And in, 19, in, in 1989, the first bill was filed in Congress professionalizing the industry. And by honorable, by then, honorable Rodolfo G. Valencia during his first term in Congress. As we all know, RGB now is now in Congress again and he is equally happy and uh, that the RESA law was passed. Inspired by the bill professionalizing the industry, I and John Gary will attest to, it, to this, he started to write a book on the ABC of real estate practice, professionalizing, adhering to the ethical standards and tenets of the profession. I remember page 12, chapter 2, page 12, page 15 of my book, I said, and I quote, that the real estate industry, despite gloomy predictions by economic managers during the 1990s, will always be a sunshine industry. It will always be morning to all the real estate practitioners. And I mentioned specifically that every day we look forward in our profession to the dawning of a beautiful morning. Isn't it? So, good morning to all. Good morning. And, alas, let me tell you that the bill was repiled and repiled for so many congresses and after which, luckily on June 29, 2009, the bill was enacted into law. It was after eight months that the first professional regulatory board of real estate service was appointed by the president of the Philippines. Although the law became effective on July 13, 2009, it was eight months after that we where the first board was appointed. Immediately, the first board went to work, rolled our sleeves, and did our mandated task. We divided our task into three. First task, to crop a judicious, a fair, equitable, implementing rules and regulations after consultations with all the stakeholders all over the Philippines. You are witness to that, that in Cebu we conducted consultations. And on July 21, the IRR was finally submitted 
was approved by the board and submitted to the commission for final approval. And on July 24, the IRR was approved by the commission and became effective after its publication on August 9. So what does it mean? It means that it's now the start of stage two or stage two. And that is the, the uh, licensing and conversion of all the existing professionals from the Department of Trade and Industry. And I know some of you were benefited by, the, by Section 20 of the law, and that is licensure without examinations, right? Can I have a show of hands how many were benefited by that? Now, so you are not renewing, because I would like to correct the notion that you are you are renewing your license. No, you are getting your first license with the PRC. You are, we are converting your license from DTI to PRC. Okay? And so, now we have had a very successful first licensure examination on March 27, and we have 3,185 pass on a total of 66.88, or if you round this, to 67% pass the first licensure examinations and you are all here, right? <laughs> and Cebu produced two top notchers. Now, the, uh, the, the PR, the, the, the board, the board of real estate is very busy now preparing for the licensure examination on July 30, 31, 31, and that is the examination for appraisers. Those of you who would like to take the appraiser exam, review, okay? And October 2 and 3, we will have our first licensure examination for consultants. And I am now writing the commission, the chair, that because of the successful examina examination held last March 27, although 67% passed, there were still about 1,000 who did not make it. So with the benevolence of our chair, I, uh, I have written her a letter requesting for another examination on November 27. So this is all what we have, continuing licensing and uh, conversion, but to remind you, conversion will only be up to July 30. So those of you who have not gone to PRC with Attorney Dan, Dan, Dan Malaya, come now to Attorney Dan, Attorney Dan is here, and have yourself, present yourself, and procure Secure your license from the Professional Regulation Commission. Now, the, uh, after which, when the grandfather clause has expired, we will still continue to give licensure examinations, but those who will not be able to make it to the deadline will now have to take the licensure examinations. Again, I've always been asked about the regulation, about problems of colorum brokers, problems of those who are uh, selling agents, salespersons, brokers, but are not being paid their due, due commissions. But let me tell you, uh, fellow practitioners, that we, you know, we are no longer called Commissioners. Bakit commissioners? Kasi nagu-commission. Ang tawag ngayon sa ating income ay professional fees. Huh? So therefore, it is very important that you realize that now regulation will come after licensing. And with the able stewardship, leadership of our energetic and dynamic chairperson, Attorney Teresita Manzala, Honorable Manzala, then I believe 
that I am. 100% optimistic that we'll be, be able to carry on the mandate that we have as provided for by Republic Act 9646, otherwise called the rest as law. So I share with you, my, on behalf of my board, the Professional Regulatory Board of Real Estate Service, I would like to congratulate you and I hope that you will stick and adhere to the highest ethical standards of the professions. So remember, we are professionals. Isn't it? Yes. Yes. We are professionals. Good morning to all of you. So thank you. So now, nabisto na nyo kung bakit good morning ha? Walang good afternoon. Good morning. Walang good evening. Always good morning. 1983. Advertise ko lang mo. Yung libro ni Professor Ong. Fundamentals of Real Estate Brokerage. Siya ko sumulat mo. 1983. So, and this time, we are very fortunate. 1989. So, pasensya na ko kayo. Talaga yung katatlong mistake niya. Acknowledge. So, tatagal nyo. So, this time, we are very fortunate to have with us yes. the Honorable Mayor of Cebu and now the Chairman of RDC. You know, the basta ko lang kanina. To assume the RDC Chairmanship, please join me to welcome our energetic, very young, Mike Rama. Let's give a round of applause. Hello. Hi. Not so good. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Why don't you give give ourselves a round of applause? Thank you for such a impressive response to the distinguished. Presidentials, why they are all presidentials? Because they all are seated at the presidential table. So they are all presidentials. But somehow there is such a thing as in Latin Maxim, primos inter pares, among all of them, first among equals. And therefore, your thunderous applause is an imperative to be accorded to your guest speaker, Honorable Teresita Armanzala. And to the rest, I wish they all are here in a piece of paper. But if and when you are not here in my imagination and in my heart, I would have wished to have called your name, especially if you, you are all registered voters in the city of Chicago. <laughs> Nonetheless, forgive me, for I was not provided the list of all your names, maybe for a reason. But somehow, your chairman of the Board of Real Estate Service, who did his job, so that he can report when he goes back to Manila that he had provided you some insights that you should all comply with accordingly. And I am referring to Chairman of the Board of Real Estate Service, Honorable Eduardo Gutierrez Ong. And likewise, we should not miss the master of ceremonies because if they will abandon the podium, many are good in criticizing, but not many will have the courage to hold the microphone. And that is a challenge for all of you. You'll be probably give your whole hearted round of applause to Miss Emily. Bobet Wano and Dios Korojun Gare. And likewise, the president of the National Real Estate Association, Incorporated, 
si bucciat a buon Dio si gocciano giugno the father of the senior and we have known the father and likewise Ingenier Hilario is Kudel III and Thor. Ja, a big hand for him. Atoni Dan Freedom. Atoni Dan Malaya. Office in Chair Region 7. Professional Regulation Commission. Likewise, an approach to the officer in charge. And to all distinguished officers, fellows of the real estate profession and to all of you did I miss anyone? Mirna Fernando Liardo, President Magdalena a big hand for Mirna How about Antonio Gerard Lilterio Lilterio yeah, and the rest of may not be in this space. As I said at the outset, forgive them. Don't tell it to me. All of them, to all of you, practitioners, are you happy? Are you happy? Maaga na amadinita ka abet ako ba nula? Ako ba na happy? Na ba ita ka ilongo ayo ako pero sa dia ni Stephen Good morning morning another round of applause I don't wish to steal that role guest speaker because that is her job she is not only the guest. She's also required to speak. That's why she's referred as a guest speaker. Me, I'm not here in the program, but I'm being asked to speak, uh, give an inspirational message according to who I was talking with. Because I just came from Manila. I had an occasion to be with the President of the Republic of the Philippines when I took my oath as the new chairman of Region 7 of the Regional Development Council. I did not ask you to approach me. I just would wish that you would pay for me that I would be able to perform my job just like any chairman for that matter. Because a job just like your job should not be taken lightly. Always to connect with the country, not just to yourself and bring you to the world of materialism, where attachment will be developed and death is being scared by because of attachment. Money is important, but what is really important is when you deal you can sleep because you did not miss deal or you did not create prejudice to your fellow co realtors My friends, believe only once, once. You did wrong, no matter how you try it, it will take more, more, more good deeds to erase it. You are into this job, you ask for it, defend it, cherish it, preserve it. Because someday you will be judged and you will live forever. Even if living will no longer be there physically and in spirit. Because what you will achieve will make you alive either misdeeds or good deeds. Your choice, you have called yourself already a license, involved 
an exercise of profession, then be your professional. Do not be the opposite that you will end up trying to hoodwink, trying to mislead, trying to think that you're the only one existing. At the end of the day, do not forget that we belong to one country, we belong to one province, and you have your neighbors. And that's precisely the reason why I'll take this opportunity as my final note with our advocacy in the city of Cebu that when I sign the imprimatur that there'll be no more dumping of unsegregated garbage. As the saying goes, credit is good, but segregation is still the best. No segregation, no collection. And it is in the name of public service and in the name of the future of our children and their children. You are a professional. Do you share professionally in making Cebu City indeed a city? Second to that, indeed a queen city of the South. Let's make Cebu clean. Thank you very much. Congratulations on the first Cebu all taking ceremony. Real estate service consultant, appraiser, and brokers forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>
of the National Reintegration Center for OFWs. Under her scholarship as in Labor Apache, Philippine Overseas Labor Offices, Polo, Rome, she was able to formulate a project proposal for the reintegration of undocumented OFWs in Italy. While serving as its labor attache in Tulu, Tel Aviv, Honorable Mansala developed a handbook on critical incident debriefing, stress management, counseling, and case management for OFWs in Israel as an option of the Israel Lebanon Hezbollah War. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the chairperson of the Professional Regulation Commission, Honorable Teresita R. Mansala. Thank you very much, uh, Attorney Dan, for that uh, introduction. Uh, Chairman uh, E.G. Ong of the Board of Real Estate Service, Cebu uh, City Mayor and uh, RDC Chair for the 7, uh, Mike Rama. The different uh, officials of uh, the different of the Real Estate Associations here in Cebu, Mr. Gonciano of uh, the Real Estate Association of Cebu Chapter, Mr. Leoterio of the Philippine Allied Chamber of Real Estate Broker, Ms. Uh, Mirna Kanama, President of uh, the Pali Maktan uh, uh, Mandawi Realtors Board, Mr. Engineer Escobedo, of uh, the president of IRM uh, Philippines, <coughs> all stakers for the first all staking for uh, real estate uh, service, brokers, appraisers, consultants. Good morning. Good morning. I am pleased to congratulate the real estate consultants, appraisers, and brokers whose qualifications, whose applications, and qualifications for registration without examination were approved by the board, both by the Board of Real Estate Service and the Commission, the Professional Regulation Commission, pursuant to Section 20 of the RESA law, and the more than 300 examinees who passed the real estate broker licensure examination given by the Board of Real Estate Service in Cebu, Visayas, and Mindanao, and Manila. I likewise commend the five real estate organizations in Cebu who collaborated together to organize and hold this first ever all staking ceremony for real estate brokers in this beautiful Queen City of the South. Your action in gathering all the all stakers is a genuine, genuine and admirable demonstration of your solidarity. So let's give them a warm applause. <laughs> this all staking ceremony can be considered as a momentous event in the history of the real estate service profession. We shall all be witness to the all-staking of the first generation of passers, of the first licensure examination for real estate service. Although new to the formulation, development, and administration of licensure examinations, the chairman and members of the Board of the Real Estate Services was able to discharge this challenging and daunting task with the licensure examinations conducted in the five cities in the country that I have mentioned. For this excellent performance, I take this opportunity to express my appreciation to the hardworking Board of Real Estate Service, composed of Chairman E. G. Ong, who is here with us, Together with the other board members, Mr. Ramon, Honorable Ramon Cuervo, Honorable Max Sanchua, Honorable Florencio Dino, and Honorable Rafael Fajardo. So let's 
or eat them in worms. I would like to give a special mention and warm congratulations to the pastors from this region who garnered the top 10, some of the top 10 places in the examinations. And they are Johannes Lawrence Sinet Greenan of the University of Messiah, Sibisniki, who was who garnered sixth place and Maribel Rola Andrada from the University of the Philippines, Visayas Iloilo, who garnered ninth place. Jesser yes, yes, Medalia Rivalde from the Wood State College of Science and Technology in 10th place, and Lowell Lagos U of Siliman University also in the 10th place. You have given pride to your respective provinces. So, The first licensure examinations for real estate gave impressive results. It was a cause for rejoicing for the Professional Regulation Commission because the percentage of passers was a very high 67% with 78% board top answers, record breaking the letter. It gives us high hopes that this first generation indeed show a lofty level of competence in the fields of knowledge required in real estate service. This passing rate shows that the professionalization of the real estate service is off to a promising start. This is likewise the third oath taking ceremony, but this is the first for Cebu, for the real estate consultants, appraisers, and brokers who took the worthy step of registering as professionals without examination. The board, with the approval of the commission, has ruled that your credentials and experience qualify you to be registered as professionals. Your years of service to the profession have borne fruit. Now you stand shoulder to shoulder with the more than 3 million professionals in the country. The PRC commends you for undergoing the painstaking process of obtaining recognition and applying for registration pursuant to the requirements and based on strict compliance with the RESA law the law that governs the practice of your profession. By taking this step, you clearly take a stand in favor of a licensed practice of the said profession. You stand side by side with PRC and the Professional Regulatory Board in its mandate to develop a core of qualified and competent Filipino professionals. The PRC is the warns that all those so-called fly-by-night brokers who have proliferated are a thing of the past. Now with the professionalization of the real estate service, there is now the responsibility to each and every one of you, particularly your organizations, to police your own ranks and safeguard against the legal practice of the profession. We shall be vigilant, we shall vigilantly enforce and rule on unlicensed practice. This year marks the last chance for all of you who wish to obey of Section 20, which is uh, registration without examination of the register. Your host binds you to adhere to the highest standards of professional conduct. These standards are excellence, competence, honesty, and integrity, for these are the hallmarks of a Filipino professional. From this day onward, you must exemplify these hallmarks in the practice of your profession. Your entry in the profession comes at the perfect time for the real estate industry. Real estate is leaking huge benefits in the country's robust economic performance. And that is the reason why we always greet you good morning because your, 
your service, your profession belongs to the sunrise industry. A huge contributor to the growth of real estate, likewise as in the remittances of our overseas Filipino workers. When I was a labor attaché in Rome and in Israel, in Tel Aviv, every, almost every month we get visits from real estate brokers. In an economic forum held last this month, the Banco Central of Filipinas forecast that even with the unrest in North Africa and the Middle East, and the disasters in Japan, and even with lower deployment of workers, the forecast for remittances is still expected to rise by 7% this year or to 20.1 billion US dollars, still higher than the OFW remittances of US 18.8 billion dollars. Even with the BSP's conservative and cautious forecast, real estate can still look forward to enormous OFW investments in the form of housing. The business, the business prices outsourcing industry has proven to be a strong engine of growth for real estate. Now, Cebu itself is on the rise as a major center of the BPO industry in the Philippines. There are encouraging signs that Cebu may even equal Metro Manila as host city of BPO companies. Real estate prices have been high due to the demand from investors. Even so, the prospects of real estate remain bright. The backlog in the housing sector makes the market very attractive also to foreign investors. A top front real estate investment manager said that affordable housing market which accounts for about 20% of the realty backlog is currently very attractive to investors. He has pointed out that an exciting combination of factors that make real estate in the Philippines a sunrise industry, like the industry has in their survey has stated, that there are about 4 million backlog in terms of affordable housing for the citizens. We have a very young population with growing disposable incomes. Our banks are offering attractive market rates and our developers are earning high margins. There was an increase in the number of pag-ibig membership who were pag-ibig members who were able to buy their first homes after pag-ibig has lowered its interest rates. This is a solid proof that for many Filipinos, even for low to modest income earners, housing is still a top priority. This economic indicator... Sa, sa PRC. Diba? They are now professional, responsible, and competent. Diba? Yan ang ibig sabihin ha? Pasta, pasta, pasta salesperson. Okay, are you all ready? So, ready na lahat? Ready na pa. Okay. Maybe. Pagiliin tayo. Again, we'd like to call our honorable uh, chairperson, Ms. Honorable Teresita Mansala, to give the final event ang hinihin tayo ng lahat para maging bilyonaryo, bawal ng milyonaryo mam ha? Puro bilyonaryo, ng team sum nila, bilyonaryo. Because in Cebu, we have 100 billion inventory, kaya magiging bilyonaryo sila. So, ma'am, let's give a round of applause. Thank you very much once again. Can I request all those who are going to take their oaths to stand up please? Please stand. Please raise your right hand and follow up with me. Okay na lahat, nakatayunan. I, state your name. I, state your name. Hey, Jiro. Ako man na. Biyaha di agabi. Hereby, solemnly swear 
Here and Sunday's is great. Then let me support and defend the Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. Our distinguished guests, uh, Honorable Atericita Arvanzala, Chairperson of the Professional Regulation Commission, Honorable Eduardo Gutierrez Ong, Chairman of the Board of Real Estate Service, Attorney Dan Malayan, uh, Director, Region 7 of Professional Regulation Commission, the different uh, press